Well, here are some startling statistics to really wake you up this morning. That's right. The average cost of long-term care in the Hartford area can cost anywhere from three to eleven thousand dollars a month. Take a look at the numbers. More than thirty-eight hundred for an in-home health aid. Assisted living can run you four to eight thousand dollars a month, and a room in a nursing home costs around eleven thousand dollars a month. The three and four need more national campaign is dedicated to raising awareness of the importance of planning for one's long-term care needs. Now, the campaign utilizes multiple marketing strategies in order to increase awareness, and they're in Connecticut today only. Joining us this morning are Dr. Marion Summers and Jerry Kras. Now, now just a few minutes ago, you were at the Capitol to really share the message. So tell us what this is all about. The three and four campaign, the numbers three and four, were not arbitrarily picked. Three out of four Americans are going to need long term care and they don't understand the cost. I mean, you just mentioned the cost, mm -hmm. but most people are totally unaware and they don't understand how it impacts them, not only financially, but emotionally. So the three and four campaign is to raise awareness as to what the needs are and how to start making plans for themselves and you can it's not too soon to start planning for long-term care and a lot of people you know, don't think of oh well I'll worry about this later and it's really something that people should start planning for now the time to plan is now while you're young and you're healthy before you have an incident because you might be denied mm -hmm. you do it now you two need to look into <laughs> it now it. <laughs> so what is the first step the first step is to figure out what your needs are. I use the acronym SOS. What's the situation you're in now? What's your family history? What are your genes, etc.? And take care of your own health. O, options. What are the options that are out there? And you figure out what the options are that fit your needs and how you can educate yourself and the solutions figure out long-term care insurance, reverse mortgages, um, annuities. There are a whole bunch of things out there, but unless you start your homework now, it's going to be too late. So you guys are really at the right age. And we need to get cracking. I, I, I will be. My, my husband is in financial planning, and so actually he does have a, a plan already set in place for us because this is what he does for a living. And so, you know, it, it is not too young. And when he talks to people, the importance of it. And obviously, Jerry, that's what you you are a specialist in this. So what do you tell people? Um, I, the easiest way to understand it is my mother needed nine years of care. Mm -hmm. She was 78 when she started to need it. I'm going to ask you to take a guess. How much younger do you think she was when she became uninsurable and couldn't get the insurance? Mm -hmm. Just pull a number out of the air. What do you think? Uh, 78. has to be younger than that. Maybe 70? 70? I'll say 60. 60. Would you believe she was 51 years old? Really? I was 17 years at the old at that point, so I'm not guilty of not getting her a policy. <laughs> But she came, stayed at home the whole time. It was 27 years later, 26, 7 years later, that she needed care. People always say to me, I feel fine. I don't need this. And that's the biggest killer. It's the gap between when they feel they need it and when they're ready to get it and then it may be too late. I'm sure you hear from people who say, I'm healthy, I've never had any health issues, my family history is clean, so I'm not going to worry so much about it. But what do you tell those people? I just tell them that my mother's father was killed in a train wreck, my mother's mother died in her sleep, and my mother needed nine years of care. It doesn't matter what came before, mm -hmm. it's going to be your situation and it's entirely different. Three and four need more, that's what mm -hmm. the statistics are. Are you going to be the one in four? or the three and four. So you guys are in Hartford for this uh, campaign today and tell yes. us how people can come out and get some more information. Well, we're going to be uh, campaigning around, but they can follow us on the three and four need more website. And also the three and four need more website has a calculator. And on that calculator, using a zip code anywhere in the country, you can find out what the costs are in New York or California or right here in this area. And the three and four bus tour is touring all over the country. So folks watching right now, they have some loved ones who they want to go stop in and get information at the bus. They can c click on the website and find out where the bus is, is the stopping. bus always knows, the, the website always knows where the bus is. So check in with the bus, right? Right. And, and today, uh, if they'd like to stop in between 11 and 1, it's a nice luncheon that's going to be held at Emeritus in South Windsor at the Five Corners there on Ellington Road. And this evening at 7 o'clock in Woodbridge at Emeritus. Uh, these are assisted living facilities. Uh, they've been very nice to uh, make themselves available for us. So Fantastic. you can get a tour and see what a, the assisted living is about. The goal is get the information now while you're young enough. And then take action, right? Right. Absolutely, like uh, Rachel's family <laughs> yes. is. It's just terrific. Thank, Thank you so guys much. so much. Thank you very much.
We've got some exciting guests coming up on Fox Connecticut's Morning Extra, including the cast and crew of a movie filmed in Middletown. Yeah, it's called Sensory Perception, and Connecticut is the backdrop for many of the scenes.